And let's kick off this in-depth look into Monday's papers with The Guardian, Lewis. Uh, this is The Guardian. Pressure on Sunak as Met Police consider, quote-unquote, well, one, I don't know what that's, I don't know. They did, they're considering they're it. They're considering it. They're considering latest party gay video, which showed in 2014 a bunch of <coughs> no, kids. 2020. 20, December. Sorry. December. Oh, my God. It seems so long ago. <laughs> December 14th. Thank you for oh, listening yeah. out there. December. I wasn't paying attention to this thing. Anyway, uh, December 14th, 2020. During the, I wouldn't say it was the height of the COVID. It was the second blurp of the COVID. Yeah. Is that a bunch of conservative people, and they're obviously conservative because they're the nerdy people I've ever seen, yeah. and uh, uh, actually partied and got close to each other, and uh, people are upset about that because the whole country was locked down. I don't think they were completely locked down at that time. Do you know if it was? It was. Was it, was it a complete lockdown in the 14th? In London, it was. In so London, London we were, were locked down. We but in, that weird pair was like zone two, then zone three, yeah. then zone one, but we was in a semi lockdown Right, okay, that I did not understand, right, because I, I, I don't remember it, because it's an all a blur to me. Yeah. Can I just say this? that this is a complete non-story because everybody knows and all of these people knew that COVID wasn't a thing. Because, because it well, COVID oh, does exist. I mean, not, it was a thing. No, yeah. you can't say that it exists. I wasn't allowed no, to work. I couldn't work because of COVID. So yeah, it was be, a, no, because they yeah. told you COVID. That wasn't It's mean. still a thing. It isn't. It wasn't a thing. It was no, an there's excuse. A, there's a virus. Was, there's a COVID there virus. Happening. Might, there's, there's a, it's debatable as to whether like shutting down the whole economy and society was the best way to deal with this uh, incredibly survivable virus. Yeah, can uh, I just say, can I disagree with you? And I want to cut you off right then. That is what they're trying to say. No, people knew if COVID was a major thing, I guarantee you people would, would say, listen, maybe we shouldn't have a party. But every one of these people said, let's get close to each oh, other. Yeah, nobody, nobody was having like uh, parties during the, when the plague was going through London. Nobody was getting yeah. together and having having parties. But I mean, Junior, do you, do you think, because a lot of people are very angry. I'm angry myself as well. I'm very angry about this because actually um, I got in trouble during lockdown. I got an ASBO. No uh, way. Yeah, it's called an ASBO now, but I got an ASBO. An ASBO. Um, yeah. What Anti-social... <laughs> Old or something, so I got an. I want Asbo taken off my name or yeah. the fake name that I gave to the police. <laughs> <laughs> and was that for COVID related lockdown? Yeah, related? I just had a few people in my house who wasn't living with me, yeah. I guess, at the time, so I got in trouble. Was, so. was it as cool as this party? Was it? Did you have uh, I thought it was better Christmas than that. Temples. It was better dancing, <laughs> yeah. it was better dancing and better jumpers. So, who uh, should be punished? Do what? Who not should me. be punished? No, obviously you not. Should, should these people yeah, they should, should be, be punished? They should be fined more than fifty pounds because fifty pounds nothing to them. Right. But, so yeah. you had a party, so you risked death. No, it wasn't. <laughs> those people. It wasn't. But a lot. That COVID wasn't. It was a thing. But I wasn't scared of it at that point because yeah. you didn't think it was anything. It was a think? thing. It was something going on. I yeah. couldn't work, so to me, it was a thing. No, and we'd, we'd had it for a year, almost a year by that yeah. point. Right. So I mean, we knew. We sort of had the measure of it a bit, and all right, the rules were brought in. I mean, this this is what sort of annoys me about it is that you know I understand people are angry that you know people the people setting the rules were having parties and all the rest of it. Yeah. They were having to go in to work and yeah. and work, and also they knew that COVID just wasn't that bad. It's just you yeah. know it's not the it, it's not like but the general fat. public didn't know this. Yeah, well, the gen did, general public know. were so scared of COVID, yeah. they demanded that the government brought in these yeah. rules and treated them like uh, like little babies. So shouldn't they have? Shouldn't these people have told, been been brave and said, "Listen, it's all a bunch of bunk." Yeah, that's it. exactly. If the government had any backbone, if Boris right. had really stuck to his convictions, he would have said, "Like, listen, you know, it's yeah. just not as bad as as people are I making think, out." I think so they should get a couple of days in prison. Every single one of them. Yeah, every single punishment. one of them. And they should yeah, certainly... They, they yeah. set the rules. So if you set the rules, you shouldn't break them. And Me, I broke the rules. But I didn't set the rules. Yeah. So yeah. my little asbo... Yeah. Do you know something? Fine. You broke the rules and you got caught. Allegedly. Because you're, Allegedly. You're, a young, you're a young black man living in... I'm not young, but yeah, I'm Whatever. Young. <laughs> <laughs> in South you're London. Young. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to you, I'm young, yeah. <laughs> I was 35 at the time. Yeah, that's to me. How, that's, uh, how much was the fine, if you don't mind me asking? I didn't get fined, just got an ASBO. All oh, right. Yeah. They, so they gave you a thing. And the they were going to fire me, but I made up some sort of sob story. And they the, truth, the truth I was is, very convincing. everybody knows. Allegedly. Ele and no, everybody knows. There's a song. Everybody knows that the dice are loaded. Everybody rolls with their fingers crossed. What's everybody knows. It's called Everybody Knows by Leonard Cohen. Everybody knows that the war is over. Everybody knows the good guy lost. 
And that's what this is about, that everybody knew COVID was complete bunk. Even no, it's then, not complete. It's not complete. Bunk. It's just not. It's not worth shutting down an entire society and an entire economy to, to deal with it. If anything, Sweden's shown that that wasn't the way to go. Anyway, moving.